What's up guys? Hope you're all having a good day so far. So, in today's video we're going to be talking about Michael Van Gogh and you've seen the uh, you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title. You know what we're going to be talking about, but before we get into that, tonight I'm going to be giving away 100 sets of my brand new darts. I'm really excited for it. The stream starts at 7 p.m. UK time. Link will be in the description below to go and set a reminder for it, turn on post notifications whatever. If you want to be involved, just turn up and uh, yeah, just come and chat with me and I'll be giving away 100 sets to you guys. So you don't want to miss that. But anyway, Michael Van Gerwen. So let's just talk about the World Championships first off. He is currently not in the world number one spot. So if you look on the rankings with the money taken off from two years ago, um, then he's currently not in the world number one spot. So he is he needs to he needs to do some bits. He needs to he needs to do some some stuff in this tournament to keep his world number one spot. Basically, the only two players who are capable of taking away his number one spot is Peter Wright and Gerwin Price. Now Gerwin Price needs to win the tournament to to uh, to take it off him. Peter Wright just needs to better Michael Van Gogh by just one round. So if Van Gogh goes out in the quarters and Peter Wright goes out in the semis, then Van Gogh is going to be the world number two. Peter Wright is going to be going to be the world number one. Unless Gogh and Price goes on to beat Peter Wright and then win the final, which is, I guess, a poss possibility. So we could potentially see a world number three Van Gogh as well, which is mental. I don't think it's going to happen. But yeah, anyway, so if you think back to 2017, it was the UK Open and Van Gogh pulled out because of an injury. And he's recently, apparently, according to The Sun, which could be false information knowing them, but apparently he's revealed exactly what happened. And it's quite interesting, really. So on The Sun website, they have said that the Dutchman had medical treatment last month, but is confident he can still make a splash at the Ali Pali this Christmas. It goes on to say, in March 2017, the world number one missed his defense of the UK Open after an unfortunate incident involving his bathroom. Five weeks ago, he experienced a recurrence of that long-standing issue at the PDC World Cup of Darts and urgently needed help. So Michael Van Gerwen's dip in form looks to be down to an injury, which hopefully he's over. Michael Van Gerwen said, I had a serious problem last month. I had full hospital checks, but now I feel good. The people around me are checking me well. It was a twitch and nerves behind my ribs against my lungs. So this part of my body was in pain, which you could see actually when he was playing. He was he was definitely having a bit of an issue in the in the front, front part of his body. The previous time, I didn't slip over in the shower. I coughed. I was with my missus in the shower because we always shower together. He then said, I was sitting in the shower. I started having a cough and I pulled my back. That's how it happened. Now, if you didn't think Michael Van Gogh was a lad before then, he's a lad. He's Michael Van Gogh and he does what he wants. He showers with his wife. I'm more impressed that he's got a chair in his shower, to be honest, because I, I would love to be able to sit down in the shower. He then basically goes on to say that he's not worried about it and he seems to be okay at the moment. So... This World Championships is going to be good. If we have an informed Michael Van Gogh, who knows what's going to happen? We could see nine darters. We could see all sorts of things going on. I'm really excited for this World Championships. I will be streaming the entire World Championships as it stands as well. So come over to my channel and watch my streams. It's going to be really fun. But anyway, guys, that is today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Or I'll see you tonight. Come tonight, 7 o'clock. I'm giving away 100 sets of my darts. It'll be fun. You'll, you'll love it. Yeah, come do that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.